What's up everybody? Alex from Need My Fishing Fix. Today, we're gonna use salad dressing to make fish amazing. So the final one is going to be a, a different one, something new, I've never done it before. So we got this mango honey sake, that's uh, Soy Ve Company. I've got ground ginger, and I got some soy sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and bag this one up after we put the ginger on it. You don't want too much. A little bit goes a long way when it comes to ginger. You just put a whole bunch on. No, it's just dusting. So a little bit goes a long way. You want to get it on there. Let's get it spread around. the mango honey sake in there. Make sure that it is properly covered. And then some soy sauce. We're going to marinate that for three hours. That's it, guys. Hey, everyone. So I decided to, uh, I decided to let it marinate a little bit longer. The soy mango mix with the fish in it. I let it marinate for the rest of the day. Let's go ahead and cook this up. Now that it's been marinating in this, it's gotten an interesting looking color. I'm expecting that to translate into the flavor of the fish. I'm going to save one of these as a matter of fact. So I wanted to be able to translate into a, a second meal at some point in time. And I might try something a little bit different depending on the flavor of this one. This is the first time I've ever done this. So I don't know. We'll see. So I was going to cook this on the grill, but I decided against it. And I'm thinking that that might have been the better choice. Uh, my daughter won't um, let me set her down, so she's going to be joining while I cook this meal. It'll probably work. Oh, and it's at uh, 6 now. I kind of turned it up a little bit too high just a little bit ago, but that's, that's alright. Okay, let's go ahead and flip it over. It's got an interesting color. Um, and... I'm worried because I know a lot of people are visual eaters, so it has to be appetizing looking. Uh, for me, not so much. I, I'd eat that. I know it looks a little bit different. So we'll just see how it translates into flavor. That's really what's important to me. So we've gotten this going. I think I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, black pepper on it. Just table pepper, you know. Just throw that on there. Give it a little bit of spice. We'll see. It's definitely going to be an interesting one. I would guess probably the flavor profile is going to be a lot like the um, honey glazed teriyaki, which, I mean, personally, I think that one is amazing. But, uh, you know, that's. So far, Honey Glazed Teriyaki has been my least um, least popular video, which is interesting. But I think it's really good. If you haven't checked out Honey Glazed Teriyaki, you should check out Honey Glazed Teriyaki. We did one last flip on it. It's really starting to come into some good caramelization, as you can see right there along that. It's coming into some good caramelization. Um, like I said, this is not a visual meal by any means. Uh, I imagine once I've tasted it, then maybe I can throw some some different uh, pieces together. But since I, I don't always do all of my cooking by, you know, having done it first and done it before, 
which I find is a lot better for you guys because it it really um, makes it obvious that it is easy to cook with carp. So I think we're probably pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. It's been cooking for about five minutes. That's about it. And this one doesn't seem like it's gonna take too long, so. I think I'm gonna let my daughter try this one first. She can try it first. And make sure that it's not hot. Here you go, sissy. You wanna try it? Here we go. Go ahead. What do you think? She pointed at you guys saying, you gotta try this. Let me try. <laughs> oh, you wanna try too, Asher? Okay, bud. Let's give you a little piece. Here you go, bud. What do you think? What do you think? Is it good? Is it good? Do you want another piece? Since you won't say whether it's good or not, and then you can tell me no, yes? Oh, it must be good. If he's willing to take a second bite, this guy is picky. If he's willing to take a second bite, that means it's good. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. This one would be amazing on stir fry. Absolutely amazing on stir fry. Nope, don't just pick. I'll give you some. Holy cow. It's really good, guys. This one's amazing. Here you go. Wait, let me make sure because I did not debone this one. Make sure there's no bones in there. Yeah, you. Yeah. See? I knew it. There should be a bone in there. One little bone. Always pull out your bones if you're going to use this for a stir fry. But since I didn't know what kind of dish this was going to end up being, you don't, uh, it's not really that necessary for me. Here you go. Mmm. But anyways, yeah, so this would be great in a stir fry. I could also imagine that if I had cooked this one on the grill, if I had let this one marinate, before I started, and I cooked this one on the grill, and I had done it all with this, this probably would have been the most popular one. Because, uh, I mean, in my personal opinion, the, uh, the other two dishes were just a little bit too much catfish. You could do this seasoning for any type of fish. I don't think the pork flavor would be so pronounced. So that would be the downside, but holy cow, you just want more and more. He's loving this one. Here you go. <laughs> I swear, he's the pickiest. He really is. Out of all the kids in the family, he is the pickiest. But, oh my God, guys. You gotta try this one. This, this is pure heaven. It really is. And like I said, this would be amazing on a stir fry. Or you could even top a salad with this. Uh, again, I would recommend deboning for a salad as well. Uh, let's see, you could also marinate this one and you could put it just on a bed of rice. This would be really good. I'm gonna eat one more bite for you guys because uh, I do have to stop eating in front of you. <laughs> mm. God, it's so good though. It's so good. So here's the new dish that I recommend everybody to try there, you, there it is so you can see I know it's backwards it <laughs> can't be helped uh, mango honey sake made by soy bay salad dressing don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys I know that this is gonna change a lot of minds about different ways you can cook fish thanks guys thanks for watching have a good day